Welcome to Lothar's Guitar School and a course on jazz phrasing and articulation for guitar. Based on Lenny Niehaus, jazz conception for saxophone. Lenny Niehaus was a composer, arranger and he played the alto for Stan Kenton and many others. And he wrote what basically is uh, the phrasing bible for sex players. And since it is a good advice for guitarists to check out how horn players phrase, cause those lines breathe naturally, we should look into it a little bit more closely. First of all in jazz, and I mean swing, cool jazz, uh, bebop, and similar grooves, uh, we have to check out the feel. And the feel is a triplet feel. When you see an eighth note pattern, which is not Latin or rock, you have to feel the underlying triplet feel constantly. Each beat is divided into triplets, eighth note triplets. Da 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 da. One and two and three and four and. And in order to play swing eighth notes, you have to combine the first two triplets with the third one as the second eighth note. So you come up with a da 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 da. One and two and three and four. And that's the underlying triplet feel you have to feel all the time. Da 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 da. But it is always written as eighth note, the simple eighth notes. Otherwise it would be too complicated to uh, read. But you have to feel it. Home players have to take a breath every now and then, which creates phrases naturally. And within these phrases there are articulations created by certain techniques like uh, tonguing, we cannot duplicate this on guitar, but with our means we achieve similar effects. And so there are four articulation marks which are important. The main ones are legato, a dash over a note means you play the note long according to its value. Legato. A dot over a note means you play the note short. Staccato. Short accent. A little roof over a note means you play the note short and accent it. accent. And a little arrow over a note, that's a long accent, means you play the note long and accented. Long accent. When you have a series of eight notes, in general the upbeat is slurred to the next downbeat, contrary to what you might think, giving the upbeat a slight accent. The sign is a legato mark, a bow, combining two notes of different pitch. Consecutive eighth notes. When you see a phrase like this, we have basically three options to play it on guitar. Pick all notes, evenly, with alternate picking. Lean slightly on the second note and pick the next note with a little less emphasis. And the last one is short and hard. Pick each note.
The other option is play the second note and hammer on the third. Hammer on. And the third option is play the second note and slide to the next. Slide. And downwards it's the same thing. Lean slightly on the second note and the third one is a little softer. Pick each note. Or you pull off this third note. Pull off. Or you slide to the next note. Slide. And that's it for the introduction. That's it for this lesson on jazz phrasing and articulation for guitar based on Lenny Niehaus jazz conception for a saxophone. I hope you liked it. I hope to see you soon at Lothar's Guitar School again. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. I'd appreciate your likes and comments. And if you have any further questions, need advice or have suggestions, feel free to contact me at lothausguitarschool at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Take care and bye bye.